Hey guys, it's Key and it's Key Life Trading. Thanks for tuning in to another video. So today is day 14 of the small account challenge. And if you guys did not know, today's my ninth consecutive winning trading day. Let's go. Like I say, consistency is key. I always say this, consistency is key. And you have to also know how to manage your risk. That's how you grow a small account or better yet, any account. You need to have consistency. And so far my consistency is very, it's up there so but anyways i have been doing very well with my discipline and i'm very proud of myself before i was a, l a little bit less disciplined but now my discipline is stepping up it's on another level i'm transforming so we're gonna keep doing that and we're gonna keep growing so today i, I traded one stock i traded akro we had news and i was hoping it would have done a little bit better on my part but it is what it is. I took some profit. And before we jump in and look at the chart, put in the comment section, let me know how you guys did today. Did you guys make some money? Did you guys lose some money? Let me know. Is there something you see that I could have done better? Let me know. Let's communicate. But anyways, we're going to go on the chart and we're going to chop it up. Let's go. Like I said, guys, I only traded one stock today, which was AKRO. And I traded it three times. So I, I bought it twice and I shorted it once, right? So let's jump in. So the first trade I took was around 931, right? So the first candle right here, I was looking for the break and I jumped in on this green candle at 2846, potentially looking for that break to go up higher and break through this zone, right? As you can see, I had the right idea, but we hit some resistance and price action fell down. I was a little bit disappointed because as you can see pre-market, this was stair stepping up. So I was looking for the same thing to happen to at least people taking some profit and then for the next move to go up instantly in the price, you know, basically in the open of the market, which we didn't get, or I didn't get at that time. So I was a little bit upset. And the news was they had um, good um, results on their phase two of their drug. I don't know what drug it is. I don't really care about what the, the news was about in terms of the, the specific. I just want to know that it's good news. And the market was obviously re reacting very well to it, right? So I got in on this green candle with 100 shares and price started to fall down, right? I wasn't panicking. I was perfectly fine because I was managing risk because I went in with a small size. So around 934, around this candle, I started to add. I added another, what it was? I added another 100 shares. So now I'm in with 200 shares and I averaged down, right? So price action came back up, tried to retest. Then we hit another resistant and we flushed. We hit view up. I seen that we was holding levels. We was holding support. And then around, around here, I seen the price started to curl. And then around 2706, I added another 100 shares. So now I'm holding 300 shares going up, trying to anticipate this break going up. As you can see, price action was trying to go up. Then we hit another resistance. This was like a double top. And then price fell and I sold all my position or all my shares at um 2765 so around here 2765 but anyway around here and i basically lost on that trade i lost a dollar after commission it was around probably 11 dollars or so and then afterwards i seen that price want to go down so i shorted it and i added 200 shares this one was a scalp trade so i added around i shorted it around 2763 that's how quick I shorted it around 2763, the same candle, 2763, and then price started to flush and I got a quick scalp and I sold that 27, um, 43, 2743 quick, quick scalp because, because this one was so whippy and I didn't know what they wanted to do. I just got a quick scalp and I made a profit of $38 and 12 cents and I could have held longer. But to play it safe, based on the first trade, I didn't know what it wanted to do. You had the price action and want to go up, then you had the pull down. It wanted to go up, then we have a rip down. We wanted to go up, and then we had another rip down. So I was playing it safe. It was a quick scalp, a quick $38. And I was up a little bit more, but I had bad um, fillage. Like I said, the spread is very wide, and you can see it right here. This is what? 28 by 80. No, 2880 by 2899. Right, so the spread is wide. So I was just 
taking profit and walking away and cool down, right? So the next trade, that was a short. The next trade I took, I bought it to go long, right? So around 10, this was my last trade that I took on it. So around 1041, all right, let's go. 1041. So around here, 1041, I jump in at 26, 2610, right? And the reason why I jumped in here, we had a big drop going down here. We had this big drop and more likely, majority of the time, when you have big drops like that, you're gonna get a significant bounce. So I was playing in terms of getting that pop and we also was in support. So this is one of the reasons I jumped in around 26, 2610. So around, which one was it? I think it was this one, this candle. So I jumped in with 300 shares and price action was consolidating. And the more it consolidated, I'm like, okay, this is going to pop. And then after a while, guess what happened? Price popped up and I rolled it all the way to 2632 around here. And I sold all my position in this um, candle right here. And the reason why I sold all my position in this candle is because overall, this was giving me downtrend vibes. I was just taking a chance of getting a, what you call it, a dip buy. This was basically a dip buy. So I, I dip bought, bought right here in this candle and expecting that little pop that it might get to continue going higher. But I was playing it safe in these type of um with these type of stocks, you have to play it safe because one, the spread is so wide and they're moving so quick and fast. Price action can switch on you in a snap of a finger. So if I don't feel like I'm going to get the full resolution on my trade, I'm going to take profit. I don't care how much it is. Right. And then on that trade, I made another, well, I made us another profit of 6411. Right. And as you can see, I totaled out at $102.23. That's his, that's before commission. After commission, I'm probably hitting around probably low 90s to high 80s. So we had a good trade on this one. And after that, I got off, took my rest, calmed myself down, took some fresh air. And I was planning on coming back, but I was tired. I fell asleep. And then all this move happened. And as you can see, it's holding up pre-market. But hopefully tomorrow, if it's open... Hopefully tomorrow, if it open um, either lower or keep this level, I might potentially take a short on it because the news is okay, but it wasn't crazy news to say you want to hold it. It was just a phase two saying they did well or they got good results. So nothing crazy to want to continue, but it could potentially go um, higher tomorrow. Who knows? I'm not God, but we'll see how it plays out tomorrow. And um, hopefully you guys are ready to see me hopefully make some more profit tomorrow. And uh, yeah. So let me know how you guys feeling, guys. If you want to join the Key Life Trading Team, Key Life Trading Gang, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button. Show me some love, man. Today I'm doing very well. So far, I'm doing very well. Consistency is on point. Accuracy is on point. So I have to give myself a round of applause and hopefully you guys do the same by smashing that like button and show me that you see my growth and you want to you're rooting for me to do good remember this is a small account this is not a big size right so i'm i'm liking the way how i'm doing and we'll see how i continue to go consistency is key and key life trading thanks for tuning in gang bang <laughs>